This is Channel 2 News, coverage you can count on. I will be the greatest jobs president, and I say it, that God ever created. Donald Trump's first campaign stop in northern Nevada thrills thousands of supporters in Sparks. Campaign 2016 tops the special edition of Channel 2 News. Good evening. I'm Ariana Bennett. Thank you for joining us. Well, Donald Trump made a campaign stop in Sparks today. Of course, drew quite a crowd. Aaron Breen has a recap of how it all went. Donald Trump's stop in Sparks was energetic, loud, and packed. Trump supporters don't hold back. There were about 2,000 people packed into the Rose Ballroom today, and they got a chance to see the Donald in action even before the campaign rally began. It all began with an event before the main event, as Donald Trump did a satellite interview with Bill O'Reilly of Fox News, and he defended his performance in last night's debate in Boulder. I actually liked my answers when they came at me. I thought certain of us did very well last night. It was good for us. And let's just say his supporters certainly aren't shy. <laughs> On stage, he reiterated his platform. It's about having a view that's captivating the people in this country because they're tired of being taken advantage of, they're tired of being stupid, they're tired of having their leaders be out negotiated on every single deal. They're tired of it. We're going to have a border, we're going to build a wall. Mexico is going to pay for the wall. We're not paying. And yes, he complained about the media overall, saying that we're just basically out to get him. What are these scum back there? That's what they are. <laughs> watch. No, no, watch. You have no idea. And while I don't think that this crowd agreed with that last statement, it is what they wanted to hear from him. He has so much energy and so much knowledge about the way the world works and the way uh, business works and what it takes to take, get this economy back on. I thought he did great today. I thought he should have talked more about some of his plans, but I thought he did better today than he did last night on the debate. I thought Trump was Trump. He was great. He looks just like he is on TV. He's going to win. Uh, uh, no way that he cannot win. I agree with most of everything that he says. Everyone always talked about Obama bringing in the audience, but I think that Trump actually kind of does a better job of that. He shook my hand and he said that I was handsome. <laughs> well, there you go. I guess he'll have your vote when you're old enough, huh? Yeah. And of course, he urged everyone actually to get out and vote, which makes this a pretty good time to remind everyone that our caucuses are in February, Democrats on February 20th and Republicans on February 23rd. Covering campaign 2016, Aaron Breen, Channel 2 News. And please stay with Channel 2 News for continuing coverage of campaign 2016 on the air, online, and on Facebook and Twitter through November of next year. Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Mike Alger's first look at the Pinpoint 2 forecast. Well, it looks like we've seen all the precipitation we're likely to see for the month of October, but it has left us with a very wet October all in all. We had a quarter of an inch yesterday from the storms that came through that are now completely cleared out of the area. That leaves us with over an inch this month where we average just about a half an inch on any other year when you do the math. Now, what is happening here? The next two days here, of course, the last two days of the month, we have observed Nevada Day tomorrow and the true Nevada Day plus Halloween on Saturday. Weather's only going to get warmer and clearer for those two, and then it's going to flip around just in time for the first day of November, and we've got some more storms coming after that. First of all, temperature wise today, again, another cool one. We've had the leftover cold air from that low that came through, so 59 was as warm as we got today. Expect things to warm up pretty quickly tomorrow, but it's also cooling off fairly quickly. We're down to 51 degrees right now, likely to get into the mid 30s even at the airport and close to the freezing mark in most of the other areas. If you look at the satellite picture again, the lows moving through here, all the precipitation to the east of us. We're letting this ridge of high pressure build in. You can see way up in the Gulf there, we do have some cold air just off the Aleutian Islands, and that's going to work its way toward us by the end of the weekend. But in the meantime, we're going to be looking at fairly mild conditions, uh, certainly tomorrow. Now, we will get down into the 30s for a low tonight, 30 at Lake Tahoe, 36 here in Reno at the airport, and even colder conditions to come 
next week especially. We might even see some snow back on the valley floor. Until then, we'll tell you all about the forecast for the next seven days. I'll have that for you a little later in the show. Turning to the crime beat now, today the RTC released surveillance video from an incident of bus vandalism in Sun Valley this week. As you can see here, when the shots from a pellet gun ring out, the passengers hit the floor in order to avoid being hit. Fortunately, nobody was hurt. A $10,000 reward is being offered for information leading to an arrest, along with a $500 reward being offered by secret witness. If you know anything that could help in the investigation, call 322-4900 or text your tip to 847-411. Well, the Washoe County Sheriff's Office has identified a person of interest in the theft of an ATV and trailer almost a week ago. The property has since been recovered, and deputies believe this man, 31-year-old Jason Rocco, may know who took it. He drives a green Chevy Suburban with California plates 6VUE631. If you know where he is, call detectives at 328-3320. Well, the Reno Police Department has arrested a man on suspicion of robbing a bank. Deputies responded at about 1.30 p.m. yesterday to a bank on the 5000 block of South Virginia Street. Witnesses provided a good description and direction of travel for the suspect, 62-year-old John Kelso. He was located and detained within a block of the bank, and police were able to recover an undetermined amount of money. 47-year-old Jose Guardado was sentenced to two life terms in prison yesterday. He previously pleaded guilty to one count of sexual assault on a child and one count of lewdness with a child under 14 years of age last month. Now each charge carries a life sentence. Guardado will not be eligible for parole until he's served a minimum of 45 years in prison. And Money Watch now. Today, California-based VIP rubber and plastic company announced it will be moving its plastic division from Ontario, California to Douglas County. Now, the company recently bought a building on Johnson Lane and plans to create 40 jobs there. VIP rubber and plastics main manufacturing facility in La Habra, California, though, will not be affected by this move. Well, Nevada's Gaming Control Board says Silver State Casinos brought in almost a billion dollars in September. Statewide, the casino winnings rose 1.5% to $916 million. That's compared to a year ago. In Washoe County, gaming revenue was up 8% to a little more than $71 million. However, revenues from casinos in South Lake Tahoe dropped more than 10% to $21.2 million. Casinos on the Las Vegas Strip took in more than $500 million, a drop of 9% from the year before. <coughs> and that was a drop of 9% from the year before. Now, if you use a wood-burning fireplace or pellet stove, the seasonal burn code program goes into effect on Sunday. Amanda Ketchledge is live in the newsroom with more on what you need to know about it. Amanda? Well, Ari, anyone can burn wood and pellets on a green burn code day, but if the air quality reaches the yellow or red range, you're asked not to use your old stove or fireplace because they can produce a lot of smoke. Tiny smoke particles from these devices hover around neighborhoods on stagnant winter days. And not only does it cause unhealthy air, the soot and particle pollution can lead to other health issues. The pollution that is generated from the stoves and the fireplaces just stay here in the valley and that inversion just keeps it here concentrated and that's the air that we breathe. Having a professional like Daniel Taylor at Chimney Safe to clean your chimney or wood burning stove is crucial. Otherwise, you're not going to get as much heat out of your wood and it just clogs up faster and you could be in the middle of a winter storm and your pellet stove stops working or your wood stove clogs up and you know a lot of people rely on that for their main source of heat. If you do burn on a green burn code day, Taylor says using dry seasoned wood is recommended. Well seasoned wood that's been seasoned for at, I would say at least a year. One suggestion the health district offers is to invest in a clean heating appliance. With some cash to fuel your interest, up to $1,000 would go towards your purchase with the wood stove exchange program. And if you want to learn more about the burn code, like what zip codes are affected, the health risks, and how the restrictions are enforced, you can head to our website at ktvn.com and click on the blue news links tab. And that burn code will run all the way through the end of February. Covering the story, Amanda Ketchledge, Channel 2 News. Still to come, the American Heart Association's National Eating Healthy Day is coming this Wednesday. And just in time, there's a new cafe that boasts one of the healthiest menus in town. Who teamed up to open BFF Cafe in tonight's Someone to Know? Next. This is a special edition of Channel 2 News with Ariana Bennett. Sports with Garrett Dearborn. And Mike Alger's Pinpoint 2 Forecast.
Welcome back. Have you ever tried zoodle? What about cauliflower bread? Now they're both on the menu at the new BFF Cafe, where the owners are creating food that's good for your taste buds and your waistline. Kristen Remington takes us to the corner of West Plum Lane and McCarran in tonight's Someone to Know. In the fitness world, they say abs are made in the kitchen, but instead of just eating clean at home, three health conscious entrepreneurs decided to cook up a business to benefit everybody. What's on the menu? We take you inside BFF Cafe in tonight's Someone to Know. Nestled near Collin Ranch is the new home away from home for a restaurateur, a corporate manager, and a nurse. BFF's Gwen, Jen, and Joel have partnered up to create things that I couldn't go somewhere else and get. To have fun meals on a menu that are nutritionally balanced. We want to be eat well and we want to take care of ourselves. And that is how Be Fit Foods was born, home of the zucchini noodle or zoodle bowls. The popular cauliflower crusted pizza. One and a half cup shred mozzarella. And a creamy cocoa cashew milk freezy. The trio's on a mission to prove clean eating doesn't mean foregoing flavor. Gwen Settler and Jen Boscovich know a thing or two about being creative with their cuisine. They've spent a combined 10 plus years training for fitness competitions and the nutrition coaches study what it takes to properly fuel your body. We look at macronutrients, so your calories and your protein, your carbs and your fats. They've spent hours in their kitchens playing with their food to make mainstream meals healthy. So yes, you can have pizza and it can be clean. There's no hidden fats, no hidden calories um, that you have to worry about. But weighing all those factors takes time, so the athletes are serving up convenience too and prepping your food for you. I want everyone to be able to spend more time doing the things they love. They've teamed up with the owner of Soto, Joel Giandalia, who recognizes with his 35 years of restaurant experience that there's a real craving for this concept. Plus, you can dine in, take out, and even order meals online to stock your fridge with fuel. Our fuel packs, which are actually par-cooked items that you take and you finish the cooking process, whether that be microwave or oven. So whether you're training for a goal, trying to lose weight, or just want to feed your family something quick but nutritious, these entrepreneurs with a healthy appetite for success want BFF Cafe to be your body's best friend. BFF Cafe's grand opening is set for Tuesday, November 10th at 5 p.m. But to get a sneak peek of the menu and even order meals online, log on to our website, ktvn.com. For someone to know, I'm Kristen Remington, Channel 2 News. The skies were very dark. A devastating storm in 1912 wiped out a rural Nevada town, but more than a century later, some say the ghosts of those killed still haunt the area. We will explain right after the break. Clear skies tonight here, and it looks like warmer days are ahead, at least until we get through Nevada Day. We'll tell you all about it coming up next. Welcome back. It's a question that's fun to ponder this time of year. Does the supernatural exist? Well, with how